maeneo ya bara hawa ndugu zetu hawatuambii sisi kwa macho yetu they really think sisi ni wale watu wa kuongojea nazi kuanguka hawa ndugu zetu pia wanafikiria sisi hatuna wale watu ambao pia kama wao wanaweza kumbabana nao katika masala ya kitaifa na sisi zaidi tuendeleza sera hizi kwa zile siasa zetu tunazozifanya the people we elect reflect the kind of people that we are if you elect wao wakafikiria kama wewe umepeleka kiongozi wanajiuliza kama mwerevu wao ndio huyu je hao wengine wako namna gani kwa hivyo sisi kama watu wa pwani hata wakati tuna ushirikiano na mtu wa kisiasa wa aina yoyote lazima sisi tutoe mtazamo wetu na malengo yetu katika pwani mimi i don't know what you people in jubilee do but i certainly know what you do not do yale ambayo hamu yafanyi mimi nayajua manake mimi nilikuwa nikiwaangalia kutoka nje sisi tukiwaangalia huwa tunaogopa wakati Ruto yuko wakati Uhuru yuko because they are the only people who speak to issues only people we know that once they are gone nobody else is speaking to any issue mimi leo mimi 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 niliandika manifesto yangu katika manifesto yangu nikasema watu wengi wanajua yale mambo ya makaya county mambo ya county ni mambo madogo kusafisha barabara kutia drainage kuhakikisha mji hauna taka wewe umesikia mtu akimuuliza jo kama umejenga skyscraper wanamuuliza tu bwana taka ziko hapa na taka ziko pale that's the county mandate lakini majukumu ya national government ndio majukumu ya maendeleo mimi katika manifesto yangu mimi niliitisha itumbi nakambia itumbi can i please get the jubilee manifesto and i did a comparative of the jubilee manifesto and the and the nasa manifesto ndio nikaweka sura a chapter in my manifesto my commitment to the national government ni mimi nitashirikiana vipi na serikali ya kitaifa na vile na katika hiyo manifesto vipenge viwili vipenge viwili nilivinakili kutoka nasa na vipenge sita nikavinakili kutoka jubilee manifesto hao ni mulisikia mimi nikiwaahidi watu industrial park that's not the mandate of the county nikiahidi watu special economic zone that's not mandate of the national county government mimi nilikuwa nimeahidi watu an investment in infrastructure over 5 years for what 50 billion that's not mandate of the county government i picked it from your manifesto but how many of your leaders have read the manifesto sasa hamwezi 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 kwenda kuuza uhuru kinyata kwa kusema navaa shati nyekundu you must sell uhuru and ruto as offering an alternative and a promise to the issues that affect you katika kenya binadamu binadamu anaweza kugeuka kwa matumaini the principal and cardinal responsibility ya uongozi wa wote is to give hope to his people lazima tuweke matumaini yule mdudu yangu mgiriama yule mdudu yangu mgiriama yule mdudu yangu mdigo yule ndugu yangu mchoni yule ndugu yangu mswahili yule ndugu yangu mwarabu they have a family to feed and expectations to meet you must tell them this is how we are going to solve your problem issues are ardhi tutazitatua vipi by na katika manifesto hii hizi zilikuwa issue ya comprehensive land reforms zilikuwa zimeangaliwa lazima mtuambie na sisi tuseme how you believe will ensure that KPA will represent the expectations of watu wa Mombasa as one of their principal assets in this country. Kwa hivyo mtaweza kucommunicate kwa watu hayo. Sasa sisi kwa tunajua bao zenu ni za kuotea mpaka Ruto aje ndio sisi tunajangalia huyu jamaa leo atasema nini. Uhuru aje angalia hapa William Ruto my brother ameongea for about 18 minutes. He prosecuted issues binadamu 
ataka kujua where are you taking him tomorrow hawa mama zangu wengine mimi kuanzia kijana na waona katika siasa they need hope for their families kwa hivyo hii si siku yangu lakini tutaikana mimi the problem we have ndugu zangu wa Mombasa is messaging nilizungumza na ndugu yangu Balala I have never had a person in Jubilee who has respected me and supported me not necessarily in the election like Muhammad, Muhammad Najib Muhammad Balala nilipomshinda akanipigia simu akaniambia my brother you have my full and equivocal support to do in your term as senator of Mombasa na kila nilipompigia simu kwa jambo lolote la kipwani Najib Balala did it and i told him when he met me because i met him several times katika kuhakikisha tunaendelea na hizo maneno mbele namwambia brother part of your problem is the problem of messaging kwa hivyo tuunde hizi ratiba twende tumbadilize mpaka mwisho na la mwisho excellence ajua when youth naona umesimama jana niliongea mambo ya chiloba and i'm re- I, you have to understand why i'm talking about this issue na leo koti high court the high court in this morning gave a ruling that Chiloba and Chebukati are free and the commissioners are free to conduct the 26th election <laughs> high court wajua mimi pia naweza kuwa judge ya high court hata supreme court high court ilisema that neither Chiloba nor Chebukati are culpable or were found guilty of any wrongdoing. Na mimi kuna time nilimwambia Jiloba ajitenge before the Supreme Court made its dictum. Walikutoa uamuzi wao. Lakini why you do not understand this point? The reason they are attacking the credibility of the election of the commission is so that ultimately they can attack the credibility of the outcome. It is so simple. So if you if as Kenyans if we do not defend the credibility of IBC the issues of IBC then you will have an election that is already won lost before you've even started kwa hivyo kama watu wanataka kulumbana sisi tuingie hapo katika hiyo game na watu wa Mombasa nilisema jana na nasema leo serikali ya kutamba mtu anatuambia maluka ya kitoto juu ya jukwaa acha mimi nitatamba Kwile 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 alikuwa sikujipanga vizuri siku ile ya mamangina akasema yeye atatamba na sisi twajua mambo ya kutamba mambo ya kutamba ni kwenda ukapigie shisha state house umlete ali kiba uhega na Chris Brown lakini the people have real issues they have no tap water their kids must go to school they have families to feed they have a nation to take care of kwa hivyo nyinyi mkikubali watu watambe nawaambia it is untenable to have a government in Mombasa where Raila is president and Joho is governor hiyo ki serikali muta nyingine hapa mtahama Suleiman Jabal aniambia yeye atahama na nawaambia that will be the last blow watu waliodhulumika katika ardhi zao watadhulumiwa maradufu ili utanuka zaidi sasa wao ndugu yangu Raila waniambia reforms why can't you reform these small things so that we can give you we can appreciate your appreciation of the smaller picture so that you can address the bigger picture kama uwezi kumwambia jo hawache ofisadi then you cannot allow this country then we cannot get out of corruption kama uwezi kusafisha mji hamwezi kusafisha taifa zima kwa hivyo tutasimama pamoja tuko pamoja wajua sitaki kuendelea zaidi ni